78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, so we all heard the news. Um, Fox Sports 1, FS1 will not be bringing Skip Bayless back for Undisputed. I believe I was the first person reporting that on YouTube. Could be wrong. Maybe one of the first few people reporting it on YouTube uh, about a year ago. Rumor came out that Skip was uh, on his last year of his contract and the ratings were so horrible. This is right after, about a little while after Shannon left. They said, okay, the ratings were so horrible that FS1 was thinking about not bringing it back. Now, they, the FS1 execs or whoever the employees are leaked that story a long time ago. Uh, they were, I guess they were trying to get a feel for what the public thought uh, before they made a final decision. So I made sure I did a video to let them know, excellent decision. You know, get rid of Skip Bayless. Later for him. I don't feel sorry for him whatsoever. Skip been lurking around here like Count Dracula for 70-some years and uh, has been totally disrespectful to these athletes, uh, called, making up nicknames and uh, totally disrespectful. He almost tro trolled into a point where he took pride, he took joy and pleasure in... in, in um, uh, upsetting people's families and ruining people's careers and stuff like that, changing the perception of people. Uh, but Skip started to lose his power. Slowly for surely, he started to lose his power. Uh, he ran out of Tim Tebow stuff to talk about. Tom Brady retired, okay? Um, hating on LeBron James for him his whole career. Really wasn't working after LeBron won a championship with the Lakers. It's pretty much a wrap at that point. You, you can still not like the guy, but, I mean, it's only so much... Uh, hating you can do at this point so that was pretty much done um you know then he tried to switch gears over to russell westbrook and hate on russ every day when russ was with the lakers and just even before then he was hating on russ he tried to hate on Giannis. like just i mean skip anytime somebody does some i remember Giannis was in the game against the knicks and i believe um tim hardaway um jr i think that's who it was uh, made the mistake of trying to guard Giannis down in the paint, and Giannis jumped over him and dunked. So it, it, that's always impressive when, you, when one human being can jump over another human being and dunk on him. Skip Bayless comes on national television, well, excuse me, on cable television, and says, I, it just wasn't that impressive to me. This is just an easy dunk for him. I mean, Harvey's a midget, you know. Let's get, you know, all Giannis had to do was just go up for the dunk. It was nothing. What about in the NBA Finals when Giannis... Uh, um, was guarding uh, one player, uh, I think he was guarding Devin Booker, and then uh, or, or Chris Paul, one of them, and then they tried to throw an alley oop, and Giannis came around the back, blocked the uh, DeAndre Aiden shot, and uh, you had Skip Bayless coming out talking about, I just it just it was a hustle play to me, even Giannis, it was just a hustle play, it, it was nothing, I'm just I'm not impressed. So Skip made a career off a of down plan the success of these athletes, these great athletes, uh, as if he was somehow better, you know what I mean? Uh, um, he talked crazy about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar back in the day, uh, some some very disturbing racist comments he made about Kareem, but, you know, people gave him a pass where everybody turned a blind eye, and, you know, it is what it is. So Skip had free reign. He felt almighty, all-powerful, right? He was, he was doing the ESPN first take. Uh, he left ESPN. Over a money dispute, he wanted more money. They didn't want to pay him. He went over to FS1. FS1 was thirsty at the time. They paid Skip, right? Now FS1 realizes they made a mistake by getting rid of Shannon Sharp. They let Shannon Sharp walk. They allow Skip Bills to totally disrespect Shannon Sharp, uh, question his manhood. And it, that, that upset a lot of black viewers. This should be real. It's, it upset. Look, I don't want to hear nothing because if the black viewers wasn't important, Skip Bayless old way of thinking would still be have the numbers over there popping so don't tell me that the, oh there's not that many black people watching sure it is because when shannon left the numbers drastic dropped by hundreds of thousands so you so you can't tell me that okay when shannon left the numbers dropped drastically hundreds of thousands of views every morning it was gone so that's just that's just common sense you know what i mean but um other than that uh Stephen a came out and did a, um, what I think ESPN asked him, they asked Stephen A, um, what would, uh, you know, what's his thoughts on uh, the Skip Bayless, well, I'm sorry, it wasn't ESPN, Sk Stephen A. Smith came out and responded to 
what ESPN was talking about, right? So ESPN put out a statement and said that they're not interested in bringing Skip Bayless back over to FS1. It never fails, I told you. It never fails. But if they told, he told them, look, ESPN told him, look, we're not interested in bringing Skip back. Not interested in bringing Skip back. We wish Skip nothing but the best, right? So Stephen A. Smith on his nighttime show, he came out and responded to that by saying, look, um, Skip Bayless was, was, you know, we had a good run, but I'm not interested in working with, with, with Skip Bayless. And he's 70 some years old, not interested in working with this dude. Uh, uh, that's an old chapter in my life. It's past that. We're moving on to something different. He said he got different things he wants to do, and he's not looking for a partner in the things he got coming up, stuff he wants to do. He, Stephen A's talking about he want to get into acting and all this other stuff, right? So, he wants to start producing and all that stuff. So, uh, but that being said, why not be petty? Who won? Who won? Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, who won? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll say this. Skip Bayless totally lost this. I'm going to tell you why. If you go back and watch the arrogance in which he talked about Stephen A. Smith, when, when it, was, it, was, it was mentioned that Stephen A. Um, uh, could have uh, saved first take. Look at how angry Skip Bayless got and how he came out with just real nasty comments about Stephen A. Smith, right? And you know, you know how they do that passive aggressive thing. Oh, but well, he, he's my boy, but you know, oh, you're wrong. And I was okay, fine. Look how disrespectful he was against Shannon to Shannon Sharp. When Shannon had showed this man the utmost respect, Shannon uh, uh, bent over backwards to to kiss his behind and act like Skip is oh Skip. If it weren't for Skip, I wouldn't have nothing. Skip. If it weren't for Skip. I mean, look, Skip, we not eating in the morning. All that old mess he was doing, and now what happened, right? Shannon Sharp has moved on to bigger and better things. He was already popping in these streets out here. Shannon Sharp had the, his podcast, both of them. We got, well, he got this club, Shay Shay. Then he got the nightcap that's going on fire. And now he on, on ESPN First Take, right? Shannon Sharp is miles ahead of Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless fell so behind, his YouTube channel is horrible. I mean, I told y'all about that years ago. I said, I can't believe Skip Bayless' YouTube channel is getting views like this. Like, bro, you you have to step your game up. You need to get you a teleprompter or something, or hire some young people to help you get some better topics. Don't nobody want to hear about the Lakers and Cowboys every day. That, that, that whole, that's played out, man. Every morning, Lakers and Cowboys. Then on your night show, you got your little paperwork in front of you, the notes and stuff. Bro, this is not the old school print media days. This dude got paperwork, a stack of paper in front of him. Like like he uh, uh Ted Koppel or something uh back in the day. Like what is you doing, man? Then he, he talks slow, he talks about stuff nobody cares about. He look, the fact that he's still running around here with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne ain't been relevant in 20 years, but he's still running around with Lil Wayne. Oh, that's my friend, Lil Wayne's my boy. Sorry, man. Sorry. I ain't finna work no more. Right? He got desperate. He pulled all the stops. Uh, he put it. That is just hilarious, man. It's hilarious how they be coming in, like eavesdropping in your conversation, man, and trying to see what you're going to say. I swear, this is the boy, all of them the police to me. All of them. This, this, it never fails. No matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, as soon as they see me recording, they just start creeping around. I don't know, let's see what he's talking about. Let's see if there's anything to call the police about. But anyway, so, Skip Bayless lost this. Period. I'm happy for guys like Russell Westbrook that have had to endure all this mess, this hatred from Skip Bayless, and now they've moved on. They finna go, Russ finna go play with the Nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Russ. Hopefully he, you know, he get a ring. Uh, not, maybe not this year because I want the Bucks to win. But you know, if the Bucks can't win, then maybe uh, Russ can get one. You know, but um, um, but yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy that Skip Bayless is no more. What is he going to do? I don't know. I can't see him having a successful podcast unless he uh, goes all the way back, turn heel, and start talking a bunch of racist rhetoric. Like, if he go and he get, like, a team full of, you know, Pat McAfee-type dudes and uh, all that kind of stuff, it might work then. But if he just, you know, um, like, trying, getting desperate, bringing in Paul Pierce and bringing in all the ESPN rejects, no disrespect, because I messed with Paul Pierce. And, uh, but he, he brought in all the ESPN rejects and didn't help him.
Didn't help him. You know why? I'm going to tell you. Y'all don't want to admit this. The disrespect for Shannon Sharp, and he, who was a huge part of the show's success, that disrespect, when people had to watch that, people, first people got mad at Shannon for allowing it. People hated Skip. Then when Shannon left, it's a wrap. Ain't no reason to watch the show no more. Tell me I'm wrong. I, mean, I don't care what you think. Just tell me about by the, by the numbers what happened to the uh, the ratings when, Skip, when Shannon left. That tells you who was, who was the most important. If Skip was the one bringing in that audience, right? If he was the one, he would still have the audience over there now. And they the same tired topics. The Cowboys. The Cowboys. Listen, man. Don't nobody care about no Cowboys like that. They just don't. The Cowboys are not America's favorite team. This is not 1993 and 1994. What are y'all talking about, man? The Cowboys every day. The Lakers. Even when the, the Lakers ain't even in the playoffs. Still talking about what the Lakers going to do in the offseason. What LeBron going to do. It's, just, it's pathetic. Boy, I swear, man, these people just get on my nerves. Boy, I swear, they so nosy, fam. By nature, they so nosy. It don't matter what you, bro, I can come out here and just be minding my business. I told y'all. See, my Patreon, my regulars know that this is the truth. I come out here, sit on the park bench or something, read me a book, or pull, pull out this phone, start recording, instantly. I don't care if they're on the other side of the park. They see me holding this camera, this phone, they come right around and just start eavesdropping. What are you doing here? What's going on? What are you, recording trees? or What are you doing? Where's your freedom papers? You got a traveling pass? You got a traveling pass, sir? Who your master? This is how they treat you in America in 2024. But anyway, lady for Skip Bayless, I'm, I'm glad uh, he's, he's, he's out of here. I don't feel sorry for him at all. I see a bunch of uh, dudes on the internet trying to feel sorry for Skip. Well, you know, Skip, man, look, man. Skip, you know, look. I mean, yeah, Skip used to get on our nerves a lot, man, but it's sad. This man, it ain't sad nothing, bro. This dude drag people. I'm not giving him no pass for that. What goes around comes around. That's how. That's just the laws of the universe. Ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Skip Bayless made it. Listen, that man's 70 some years old. I'm sure he got a, a boatload of money stashed away somewhere in some vault. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he, I'm, maybe Lil Wayne can help him out. Maybe him and Lil Wayne, could, him and Weezy F Baby, they could start a little podcast. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. I'm a pilot here, though. Deuces. Share the video, too.